Petition has gone out. He has took it. You're on mine, folks. Oh, I'm lying. You leave this room and head on over to his page. Hey, what up, Mr. Aaron? What's up? Hey, why are you looking at him while I'm looking at him while you're looking at me? And I'm looking at him. I'm hey, what's up, Saint What's going on here? All right. What up, Nolan? First. Got the fan, West Valley here. Hey, for real, what about TPV? This, if, TPV you guys, if you guys didn't know, we really are here for each other. So everybody that's doubt that's a doubter, it all because we're gonna come together Ooh, in force. You know, it all comes. No more bullshit. Enough. Electrical cords going in blades. Way too close okay. to the. Can you guys? Uh, <gasps> can you guys give me see the the footage? Good. Why we'll not share the footage? The yeah, we got West Valley order, and the Fen here with me. And an accompaniment so. with well, West Valley Transparency. If you have not subscribed to West Valley Transparency, what's up, what's up? he was not able to go live this afternoon because he has not reached Hey, what's up, El Chapo audits? Uh, no, we're still we're fighting that in court. Uh, next court date is uh, June 20th the you're looking at the uh, White Tank court in, in uh, Avondale. Is not a confirmation hey, I appreciate that, guys. Just wanted to go live. Um, submitted a complaint and also submitted a records request. So we submitted some records requests uh, for officer body cam footage so you guys can see what happened. So just to let you guys know, uh, for those of you guys that didn't see the live stream earlier, uh, they realized that in trespass, they were trying to hem me up for failure to ID. Um, from my person, remove my ID, and then uh, on my channel right now, and then read all my information so that everybody can see. So I don't I don't hide my information. It's it's. Um, but I do have anonymity. I do have that, uh, you know, uh, I do want to remain to where my trolls aren't, you know, bugging me at home, bugging my kids, bugging my kids at school. You know what I mean? Um, so we do this for everybody. But, you know, it is what it is. If anybody wants to go to my house, say what's up. If you guys love that information, come come say what's up. All right, guys, I'm going to step outside for a second because we have a uh, kind of bad reception in here. All right, hopefully we get better reception out here and it's not so echoey, guys. All right, so uh, again, so we just got uh, got hemmed up over there in, uh, in, in the city of Tolleson, got hemmed up, um, was placed in handcuffs, was arrested. Yeah, yep. Give me one second, guys. So uh, am I allowed to smoke right here? Do I gotta go right there's a little smoker pot, a little smoker right there. Uh, it should already be in there, um, and it was today around 10 a.m. It was fucking today, the and they let you go right away. Yeah, after they got after they ID'd me, they let me go. That's all they wanted was my ID. Fuck off. All so right. They didn't charge me. You got no tickets, no. Nothing. Nothing. So they're just calling me detained. Well, they, he said I was arrested, and then said I was detained. So, all right, guys. So just talking to West Valley for a second, but all right. So uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to re be uh, uh, reposting that video. I'm also going to be posting the video I did before that, which was static. Um, I was recording a water facility, a water treatment plant. Um, and then they were uh, I was doing great. El Chapo, thanks for asking, man. Um, so I went in there. I, I did my research. The street where it's on, it's public. It's a, pu it's a long driveway, but it's public. Um, they actually have no trespassing signs at the gate. So I never went past the gate. Um, when these guys, when, when I was done, I was actually confronted. Uh, I had an interaction with uh, people that worked at that water plant. Came out, they were very cordial. They asked what I was doing. I told them, hey, I'm a journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. I'm running a story on your water plant. Uh, that's all I'm doing out here. I have no ill will, no, no intent. I'm not on your property. I have no intent to go onto your property. And they're like, all right, that's good enough, man. He goes, he asked me, who do you work for? I said, I'm independent. And he's like, all right, I understand. Have a good day. Left me alone. I recorded for another maybe 15, 20 minutes. And then I said, okay, well, I consider this a pass. We're gonna go ahead and call it a pass. I walked all the way to the end of the street, ended my video. Once I hit the other side of the street, um, yeah, Daddy Master, if you can do me a favor, man, if you can, uh, if you can get a screenshot of that, I'm gonna come after Mark Schumann if you did that. Um, and Mark Schumann, I know you watch my uh, my videos, bro. If you did that, I'm coming after you. Um, uh, and legally, legally, that's not a threat. It's a promise. It's legally. I'm gonna come after you in the courts. Um, but anyways. So once I uh, once I crossed the street, um, I got hemmed up by the, the the two officers came up. 
I immediately requested my ID. I told them, I, I, you know, I have not broken the law. There's no reason for me to ID. Um, so the guy asked me four quick times and then said, all right, you're failing to ID. So arrested me for failure to ID. So you're arrested for failure to ID. And I told him, I'm not obligated to ID if, if, you, if I'm not committed a crime. And he said, well, you committed a crime of trespassing. So he was trying to hand me up for trespassing. I told him, there's no signs there that says trespassing. I walked over there. I had an interaction with them. They never told me you're trespassing. You're not allowed to be here. You're on private property. Get out of the property. I said, if they would have, I would have immediately turned around and walked out because that, that was never my intent was to trespass. But that's what they decided to, to, to use against me. Once they realized that I was not trespassing, he I took the handcuffs and I said I was detained for not for failure to ID. Um, the second officer removed my ID from my person while I was in handcuffs uh, unlawfully. And he, he set my camera down on the side and then decided to go in front of my camera, kneel down so that you can visibly see my ID and then read off all my information in front of everybody. So he's using my platform to release all my information you guys. Which again, I have nothing to hide guys. Uh, if you ever reach out to me, if you ever send me an, an email, send me, you know, Arizona Auditor at gmail.com. For those of you guys that already have in the past sent me an email and you know we, we will conversate, I'll send you my information. I'll shoot you my number so you can call me. Um, I, I, you know, I, you can come to my house and we can you know, hang out and go audit after that. You know, I have no problems with that. But that is my choice who to give it to, not, not for them to put it out there for everybody to see. Because there are trolls, there are people who don't believe in what we're doing wow. and actually believe in doing anything they can to stop us. Um, so that officer put my life in danger by doing that. And that's that that's that's why I'm here. So right here, right now, I'm, I'm at the Tolleson Police uh, Department. I just spoke and it's all on video. I spoke to a lieutenant um, and, put, and documented everything. I showed him the video. I showed him what the officer did. First, we wrote everything down. First Amendment violation, Fourth Amendment violation. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I usually don't, Nicholas, and that's my fault. Man, I take full responsibility. You know, we, we're human. We all make mistakes. I usually don't carry ID. However, this morning was a little bit different from my routine, and I didn't leave my my, my wallet in my car like I normally do. I either leave it in my car or I leave it at home sometimes. Um, but it was my fault. I had it on me. So I take full responsibility for that. Uh, I shouldn't have had it on me, but, you know, hey, we all make mistakes, guys. I made a mistake this morning by having it on me. It's still, I don't think it's still a good, uh, a, a good reason to violate my rights, but they you don't, know, it happened. So uh, I submitted a formal complaint. Um, it's on record. I'm going to come back in about two or three days, actually Monday, and bring a, a copy of all the footage. So these guys can see I was never trespassed. So they can see exactly who I spoke with. So they can see exactly what, I was, what was said and what was said by their officers. That, that's the most important thing so that they can see that. But there is case law against this. Uh, I'm going to do some research and find the exact number for the case law um, where the officer is not allowed to, to do exactly what he did. He's not allowed to just share your information publicly like that. Um, and he's dumb. All, the ha all he had to do was run my information next to his car or by my camera and you know everybody would have heard it, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but, but the fact that he put my ID on camera, he put it on there for everybody to see, it displays my address, it displays all, you know, other information. Um, but yeah, guys, just wanted to get, bring you guys a quick update. And again, I got, I got joined here by two other auditors I found Defend here, auditing this place, uh, the police station, and then I have uh, West Valley who just joined us. Hey, do you guys want to come with me to get here? I'm going to yeah. go into the municipal court and I'm going to go in and sit in on a hearing and I'm going to bring my camera. So all right guys so um this afternoon i'll go uh, if you guys have any questions for me um any concerns want to know everything i might go live this afternoon we'll do a, a question and answer uh kind of live feed um so, so if you guys have any kind of questions for me if you guys want to think of anything um let me know yeah yeah daddy master i see that um let me see i have to i have to i don't have access to that because i don't sub to merb uh, it's just problems with that dude but um the reality is if mark schumann is putting oh, i'm sorry schuberger schoenberger I, I even said his name wrong um if he's putting my information out there he is a public servant he works for the cape creek um unified school district so um again i know he watches my videos man if you did and i can get a screenshot of that man i'm gonna come after you because you shouldn't have done something like that um and yeah i do have his address see i i mean it, it's 
it's, it all depends on who the information falls on. Because I have information for other people, but I have no ill intent. I have no ill will. I don't. I don't intend on harming anybody or creating any kind of violence. That's not my ammo. That's not my ammo. That's not what I do. Um, but I know there are people out there that do want to do harm and do want to do, you know, um, you know, hit you up and, and do do dumb stuff. So um, I appreciate you guys' support. I appreciate everybody that that uh, that supports this movement, uh, not just for myself, but everybody involved. Um, but thank you guys. Um, again, I'll be going live this afternoon. We'll do some uh, question and answers. Um, I'll show a little bit more more of what happened today, and uh, and we'll go from there. But uh, thank you guys. Just wanted to share this quick update. Appreciate you guys. I love every one of you guys. Um, thank you guys for being here with me and having my back. Um, other than that, I'll check you guys out later. Um, you guys stay safe and be blessed.